Hi, it's me, Waffles. In this video, I will be going over how to create and use structure set files. Structure set files are what Minecraft Java Edition uses to determine where in the world your configured structure feature will be placed. And in order to actually use this, you need a configured structure feature file, which needs a template pool file, and tutorials for how to use both of those will be linked in the description. You will need to watch both of those before you can understand how this works. So you'll notice that I'm using the same data pack that I was using for my last two videos where I created a template pool and a configured structure feature, and you are going to need both of those for a structure set to work. So if you don't already have all of this set up, you are going to need to watch those last videos and I will have an iCard up here to the template pool video. And also both of those will be linked in the description. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is create a new folder inside of WorldGen called structure underscore set. And then inside of that, a new file. I'm going to call this enchantingroom.json, just like all of my other files that I've created so far. And then inside of here, of course, you're going to need a curly bracket. And then in quotation marks, you're going to need to put structures and then a square bracket. And then inside of structures, you're going to need a curly bracket and you're going to put structure. This is going to be the file location for your configured structure feature file. So that's going to be your namespace, which is WAB world gen for me. So WAB world gen, and then the name of your file. So enchanting underscore room. And if you are using Visual Studio Code with the Data Pack Helper Plus extension, you will see that this is underlined as long as you have typed this name correctly. And then next, what I'm going to have to do is put wait. And of course, this is the same thing as wait in the template pool. So for example, if I have two structures that I want to choose between generating, then the wait for this one could be 10 if I want it to be 10 times more likely to generate than this one. There are several reasons that you could want to put more than one structure inside of your structure set. For example, the nether uses one structure set to determine how both bastion remnants and nether fortresses generate. Basically, it generates them all in the same way, except part of the time it chooses a bastion remnant and part of the time it chooses to load a nether fortress. And the other thing that structure set is used for is stuff like villages. So for example, you could put all of the villages in a list right here, and because of the biome tag and configured structure feature, they would all generate in exactly the same way, except which type of village it is, is determined by the biome it's in. But for now, all that I'm going to do is just put my one structure in here. So then the next thing you're going to need to do is put a comma and then in quotation marks, you're gonna want placement and then a curly bracket. And then you're going to want to put type. And this can be one of two things. It can be either random spread or concentric rings. So concentric rings will generate it like a stronghold with the structures generating in rings starting around zero, zero, I believe. Random spread will just spread the structures randomly around the map like villages and basically every other structure. So I'm going to talk about random spread first. That's random underscore spread. So if you have the random spread placement type, you're going to need to put salt, spacing, and separation. So first I'm gonna go over spacing. This is going to be the average distance between structures that generate. For example, maybe I want them to be on average 50 chunks apart and separation is then the minimum distance between the structures, so that can maybe be 20 chunks. On average, the structures that generate from this structure set will be 50 chunks apart, but sometimes they will be more and sometimes they will be less, but they will never be less than the separation amount of chunks apart. So of course, separation needs to be smaller than spacing. And then the salt is a number that determines randomization in structure spacing, so I believe that it just randomizes where in the world they will be placed. So this is usually an eight or nine digit number. I'm just going to type in a random number like this. I'm not sure how the salt is actually chosen, so it might actually matter what the number is, but as far as I know, it just needs to not be the same as any of the other salts. And you can get those from Slash Slime's default vanilla world gen files. I will have an iCard up here for how to get those. And they're also linked in the description. 
And then there are also two optional values for random spread. You can put spread underscore type, and this is going to be either linear or triangular. If you don't include this option, it will default to linear. So you can mess around with those and try to figure out what is the best option for you. And then you can also optionally put locate underscore offset you're then going to need a square bracket then in here is going to be the xyz offset for when you do the slash locate command what coordinate it will give you inside of the chunk so for example in buried treasure it is 909 because it will give you the chunk coordinates 909 nine when you do slash locate but again that is also optional and you don't have to include it but of course you can also just remove this and choose concentric underscore rings. And if you have concentric rings, you're then going to need to put distance, count, and spread. So distance controls how far apart these structures will generate. For strongholds, it is 32. And I'm not exactly sure what this does, but I would assume it means they have to be at least 32 chunks apart. I might be wrong about that though, I can't find a source telling me exactly what distance does. Count is going to be the total number of structures in the world. So for strongholds, it is 128 because there are exactly 128 strongholds in the world. And then spread is how many structures there will be in the first ring of concentric rings. So for strongholds, this is three. And I'll put a visual up on screen showing kind of what this means. So if you want it to look like this, this will be the exact same generation as a stronghold. But you can also change the spread count and distance to make more or less of these generate in the world. But I am going to go back to when I had the random spread. And now my structure is done. I'm going to save this and I'm going to test it. That's all for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, then you can let me know in the comments or join my Discord server in the description and talk to me about it there. I'd like to thank my patrons, Tanta Turner and Sayori1. They are supporting me and the Waffles SMP, and I really appreciate that. If you would like to as well, then you can join my Patreon linked in the description. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.